Hello everyone, so we are back in Sanctuary, uh, just after the speed build. And yeah, I think it, I think it turned out pretty cute. Or not cute, I guess it's more like, productive. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, today I have the urge of if I can figure out my controls again. Son of a gun, I'm never gonna learn that. I'm going to Diamond City. So where is the closest trademark that we have? Ellie's shop. Is that a mod? I feel like that's a mod. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and go here. However, we're not about to do any Brotherhood stuff because we already got the gun and that was the most important thing. Even though we did tell them that we'd help them out later, however, we'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, it is about, <laughs> it's like 1 a.m. It's so late, I'm so tired. Oh, what am I doing? I noticed I was like, oh, I don't have a video up for tomorrow. Well. <laughs> So you guys are going to see me super delirious and super tired because I'm such an old person and I go to bed at like 10 or 11 now. Ah, God, I just banged my desk. Scared the poop out of me. Oh no, don't tell me it's freaking radiation. Are you kidding me? I don't have time for this. Oh, what? Okay. But yeah, I go to bed at 10 or 11 thanks to, um, thanks to college. Uh, <laughs> finish up my first week of junior year. Thank goodness because I am dying. So, you know what? I would just wait out the uh, radiation storm, but we're not going to do that. We don't have time for that. Am I even heading in the right direction? Yeah, it's more or less here. I just followed that marker. Okay. It's okay. As long as we don't run into anyone, I think we should be good. Do I, do I even have the right thing? Oh, good lord. My control. Sorry, guys. I'm a hot mess. Righteous authority. Here we go. Thank you. Is this still- oh, this is like a less big gun. Okay, I like that. Come on, dog meat. I have dog meat as a permanent companion now. Uh, I need to update the mods list, but... Yeah! Oh. Dang it, Fallout 4. Can't even jump on top of the billboard. You're making me sad. <laughs> because we don't want to take the road, because we're not plebes. Actually, is that water? We're gonna take the road! Oh, boy. Here we freaking go. Oh, oh, that damage. Oh, that's so satisfactory. Come at me, bro. Do people still say that? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing so much better. Don't hurt my dog. Dick. Oh, not, not what I want to do. There we go. Uh. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, I can... Dog meat, they're dead. Oh. Good boy. I guess they weren't dead. My bad. I turned the volume up, so hopefully that'll be... That'll be pleasant. Okay. Right. We're gonna sprint. Don't have time to walk. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Ooh. Fancy. I'm trying to think of anything exciting happened in life the past few days. I guess not. I was sitting in um, one of my classes and I don't really talk to people. I don't really want to talk to people. I have enough friends. I'm good. Is that? That sounds kind of a. <laughs> that sounds like an interesting view on the world. But I just like, I've reached a point in my life to where it's like starting over the whole like, oh, what's your favorite color? What are you into thing? It's, it's kind of lost its charm a little bit. Am I going to be able to cross? Oh, I think I remember this. So I was sitting in one of my classes and. Um, <laughs> I usually keep to myself. I have my little notebook, pen, and pencil. And there's this person who was sitting in front of me, and he was having a very loud conversation with his two friends. And I was like, okay, no big deal. Like, whatever. Class is about to start. And he was like, oh yeah, you gotta talk to strangers and make friends and stuff. And the worst thing happened. I made awkward eye contact. So guess who was a stranger that he wanted to make a friend with? It was me. I was a stranger. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, I kept a, I kept a conversation going and stuff, but it was just like, alrighty then. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't come here to socialize. I'm here for education. But, yeah, it's just something. Oh, oh, hello, Brahmin. Are you having issues? Oh, we're in Diamond City. Shoot. Oh. Hello. It's cute critical. Hell yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't be saying that on my channel. Oh, well, I'm not going to monetize. Watch me monetize like a week later. That'd be funny. Okay. Oh, oh, I almost shot at the guard. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Who are we firing at? I can't even. I probably shouldn't walk into danger, should I? Oh, hello. Oh, you're so power. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We're just gonna. <laughs> Dog me, come here. <laughs> We're gonna hide. We're not gonna. We're not gonna attack that thing. We'll loot. Oh, they're fighting that. Oh, a skull. We're not gonna take that. That's a little bit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on, doggy. Come on. Time for us to protect ourselves. Ooh, a lunchbox. Aw. Yay. <laughs> I'm not fighting that thing. We are not prepared in the slightest to help with a super mutant. That is all on them. That's not our fight. Okay. Is he dead? Come back here, damn it. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll just go explore back here for a while. I wonder if we can actually go into Diamond City yet. I think they needed to kill that super mutant before we can go in. We're gonna try anyway. This, yeah, okay, we're good. I like how they have the baseball diamond on there. That makes me happy. Hello, little gun turret. Is this... Is this it? It's been so long since I've been to Diamond City. I know it's kind of like a hole in the wall, sort of like... Thing. Oh, it's this way. Whoops, just follow the Brahmin. God, that thing can go. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, you remind me of Dreamfall Chapters. Selfless plug. Selfless, self, selfish plug. There we go. Selfless is the opposite of what I want. Are they going to, they're not going to Diamond City. We want to go into, oh, here we go. Oh, Piper. My one and only love. Hello. Gosh, darn it, Storm. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a Disney. Wow! You won't this gate right now, I live here. You can't just lock me out. Danny, open up! Hello. Uh, yes. <laughs> I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader. Up oh, it's so day. obvious. <laughs> you have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Oh, this is cringy. Jeez, all right. Let me get person Give me a minute. I'm so sorry, Danny Sullivan. Head inside quick before old Danny catches on the bluff. Oh, dog meat. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here. Big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. Go see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. I feel like that's still too quiet. Gosh darn it. I can't turn it up anymore. It's probably the storm. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious. Madono? Madano? Do you know? Hello. McDonough. Oh, I wasn't even close. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatening to throw free speech in the dumpster. Um, this really isn't any of my business. No, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, Miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. What's that supposed Welcome to mean? to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. No. Oh. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh. <laughs> this hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile. <laughs> no. 
Was there anything particular you came to our city for? Uh, one Mr. Valentine. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? <laughs> Don't answer. I'm trying to find someone. Who? Mm hmm. Awkward. <laughs> I should have done that. No, I regret that. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Can help me. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have Are you kidding me? I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. I love Piper. She's my favorite. One of my favorites. Actually, Valentine is probably my favorite. So, like, I'm gonna go immediately. I need to sleep first. My HP is so low. Some, a few, quite a few people. Maybe like two. Uh, t told me that I need to sleep, and I've been trying to find a bed. And you can't run to like barge in someone's home, and be like, "Oh, hey, I see that you were sleeping, but I need the bed more than you." I mean, you could. I guess you could. In this game, you can kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> I might do that actually. Oh gosh, I love Diamond City. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, hey, Nat. Oh, hello. Hey, sweetie. Some crazy uh, foreshadowing. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Um. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? A baby boy. He was kidnapped. I don't know why I just don't answer my baby boy. Usually it's adults. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute into the case. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is. Finally! He's not afraid of anyone. Anyone's gonna help you? Him. Thank you, Nat. You're you're the best. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Piper, you're back. Oh. Do we just go from one cutscene to another? Oh. Alrighty then. <laughs> How are the paper sales? I'm gonna try and mess with the volume after this conversation. Actually, ah ha ha. Audio. Music can afford to be up. Or, you know what? Radio footsteps. Footsteps probably don't need. We don't need thunder and rain all the way up. That's atmospheric at best. Okay. Um. Did that save? Yeah, that saved. Okay. Thank you, game. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks in Wool Girls. Oh, so breaking. much better. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Hi. Is something wrong? We're Piper. on another. Oh, hi, Piper. <laughs> All right, glitchy cutscene galore. Okay. Got nothing better to do. Oh, hello. Power noodles. Oh, hi! Oh, you're so. I love it. Okay. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have any noodles. He doesn't have anything. Okay. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi. Where was Nick Valentine's? Was Thank you. I like guns too. Don't you think you might be overcompensating there? Wait, can you see my gun? Oh, dive squat. You can't even see my gun. What are you trying to tell me? I'm done with Diamond City people. They're weird. <laughs> telling me I'm tall, telling me I'm overcompensating. Yeah. Well. Oh, hello, Ellie. Oh, hi, Dust. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid wow, I love how they actually I like acknowledge that there was a storm outside. That's really nice. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, Miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just. She wearing a sock on her arm. It's gone missing. <laughs> Mm. Your, uh, I'm sorry. Time. If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, gosh darn! I keep banging the desk. I have an L-shaped desk, and like my elbow keeps hitting the part, like the L shape of it. I can't help that. Um, you know what? We, we really want to see Nick, and we're not gonna be rude and ask for money because I like Ellie. Spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat. Get up, please hurry. Our own Sherlock Holmes. Okay, guys, and that'll do it for this episode. Or part, whatever I'm, I'm calling these parts, yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go find Nick. So, till next time, guys, thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And please follow me on Twitter, I do post a lot of updates and stuff. If I can't do a video for a day or something, that's the number one place to go check. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye!